River of Fire on Mount Etna. On February 8, 2025, Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology reported that Mount Etna was beginning to show signs of unrest above its background surface. That's not surprising for the often uncontrolled Sicilian Peak, one of the world's most active stratovolcanoes. Still, the fiery eruptions, disruptive ash clouds, and long lava flows that ensued looked spectacular to many Edna observers. The Operational Land Imager, OLLI, on the Landsat 8 satellite acquired this image of the ongoing eruption on February 13. The natural color view is overlaid with infrared signals to distinguish the heat signature of the lava on Etna's snowy slopes. On the day the image was acquired, INGV reported that Etna's eruptive activity had decreased but that weak ash emissions were still ongoing. Lava flows extended about 3 kilometers, 2 miles, from the Boca Nuova crater down the mountain's southwest slope. Volcanic plumes were also seen drifting northeast, away from the 3,357 meter, 11,014 foot, peak. The presence of ash prompted authorities to raise the aviation color code to orange on February 13. On other days during the eruption, the color was raised to red, the highest level of concern. The airport near Catania diverted flights amid dangerous conditions, according to news reports. Since Etna's reawakening this time, crowds of climbers and even some skiers have flocked to its slopes to watch the spectacle of fire and molten lava flowing through the snow. The eruption was still ongoing as of February 18, with weak ash emissions and decreasing explosive activity. February 18, Thousands of climbers scaled Mount Etna in Sicily to watch the eruption.